Mickey made it. Mickey made it. What you made, Mickey? Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. So breaking news, breaking news. Diddy is being accused of five more victims. Let's get it. Okay, so what we're seeing right here, this is what I've been explaining to you in my live and past lives and different videos I've been putting up on this whole situation as far as Diddy and the allegations and the victims. What we are seeing now is the case is starting to be put together and the pieces of the puzzle are starting to get, you know, put in place. And now we see more victims, five more victims, and some of them are male and some are female. So I hope people can have a better understanding, even though this is all allegedly, I hope people can have a better understanding of the type of person that we're dealing with and the type of person that we thought he was. So we're gonna look into it see, and see what's going on and what's what the news has to say about this and healing energy out to the victims. This has been a crazy ride and it's an ongoing roller coaster with this um, bad boy legacy and Diddy turning out to this monster that we never knew he would be. Let's take a look at it. The music mogul is facing five new civil lawsuits, including one from a woman who alleges she was raped by Combs when she was 19 years old. Combs is currently being held in a detention center in New York City on separate federal criminal charges of sex trafficking and racketeering. He has pleaded not guilty. NBC News Entertainment correspondent Chloe Malas joins us now with this exclusive reporting. So, Chloe, walk us through what we should know about these new lawsuits. Hey there, guys. These are the first civil suits being filed by Texas-based attorney Tony Busby. He held that press conference not long ago in which he said he was representing dozens of accusers and that he would be naming some high profile individuals besides Combs. These are the first. And so there were five suits filed today on behalf of four men and two women, all of which are remaining anonymous out of fear, according to these suits. And these allegations, they only name Six Combs people, and his businesses women. and actually a hotel and a department store as defendants. They don't name any other high profile celebrities. And these complaints span from the years of 1995 all the way up to 2021. They accuse Combs of sexual assault and rape, and we've reached out to his team for comment and have not yet heard back. But I do want you to hear a little bit from my interview that I did just a little while ago with attorney Tony Busby. There's an overarching theme here, as you probably can see, which is basically Sean Combs feels like he can do whatever he wants, whenever he wants to do it. A lot of the conduct alleged is violent. Um, and threats were made. And I think, but for the fact that Sean Combs was arrested and bail denied, these people would not have come forward. Busby says he's going to be file other civil suits and this is all coming as Combs is facing a criminal trial this May. Look, what I can say is when it comes down to this whole Diddy situation, what we are starting to realize is all these victims have been tucked in these corners and not saying anything and trying to move on with their life. Now, in the hip hop community, we all, especially a lot of us who hasn't reached this level of thinking, this level of mindset, we have to come together as far as understanding that this happens to men too. And it's not easy for a man to come out and just say, you know, somebody did this to me or so-and-so did this to me because in the past it hasn't been accepted, especially in the hip-hop community, which we all know. And as we grow and as we mature, we start to understand these things are detrimental to people, you know, living their life and moving on with their life. Even if they don't want to be a part of that situation, they still have to take on the hurt and the pain that came with it. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now.